this is Mike. He's gonna show us a couple of tips on how to set up your lavalier microphone. I know a lot of you out there are one-man bands. You should do a lot of shooting. You set up your labs on your own. I know I do. Well, this guy does it professionally. And so, um, what are some of the main tips that you would suggest uh, for people in, in right. my situation to set up their lab? I'm wearing one right now. I don't know if you guys can tell. Mike set it up on me. We're getting ready to take it off. But yep. um, like, what, like when, it, when you think about placing a lab, what do you think about? Basically, it's really simple. You just want to kind of keep it right on the sternum. You don't want to get up too close to the neck. You start to sound weird. You don't want to get too far away. It starts to sound too distant. A lot of people, they just kind of will like throw it up on the shoulder or something, but you really want to aim for the sternum. You get nice resonance from the chest cavity. It helps fill up that sound. So a lot of people will just clip it right here mm -hmm. and that's bad, right? Well, I mean, if you want to go for a neater look, we try to keep things nice and neat and we hide the mic on camera. So it's, we kind of try to hide that mystery. Uh, but yeah, there's lots of ways you can mount a mic. On him, I'm using just a simple uh, safety pin rig. I uh, just taped a mic to the safety pin. Uh, it's really hot and sweaty out here, so adhesives will fail, uh, especially with a lot of movement. And he's, mm -hmm. you know, really active and physical on this shoot. So a safety pin will make sure that that mic stays in place. You also are, are wiring this thing down my back. I usually mm -hmm. wire it down the front. Why are you doing that? Uh, a couple different reasons. One, if you're wearing a, if your subject that's mic is wearing a form-fitting shirt and they're facing camera a lot, there's a chance you'll see a, that line going right down their belly or something. I like to avoid that by just dropping the mic or the cable down the back. Uh, usually, if you can get a nice, you know, the, the cable to cooperate with you, you'll just get a nice curve up over the shoulder, and then you, it'll just disappear right there. On windy days, in particular, mm -hmm. you probably want to want something to protect that, right? Yes, and I have. I keep quite a few accessories on me depending on what we're doing, but uh, these are just one of a few different brands. These are just little fuzzies. They are just have a little elastic thing. You just slip it over the element of the mic. Uh, on his particular microphone, the element is exposed on the top, so there's a little ball we put over it and then slip over this. Uh, really, there's so many accessories out there. You could might you can mount a lavalier so many different ways. It's really just finding what you like to work with. What you get the best results out of everyone every sound mixer kind of has their own technique on what they like to use and if you don't if is, is there like a good resource for people to just go and like find out more information on this kind of thing where do you recommend for people to read up on the basics yeah uh for those uh interested in professional sound jw sound if you look them up there's a big forum online uh jeff wexler is a big time uh, hollywood sound mixer and he kind of has a lot of forms you know, he's been on the line for a long time uh, Facebook groups there are so many sound mixer Facebook groups out there where you can directly ask questions to pros all over the world uh, I'm a member of quite a few of them myself um, excellent resource yeah awesome mm -hmm. all right so those are just a very few number of tips specifically about putting the lav on I think I was blown away that uh, one this is like the key place to put a lav Mm -hmm. and that you can hide it very easily. It doesn't take a whole lot of work. Mm -hmm. um, also, if you guys are doing sound work, sometimes it's useful to get a pro to do it. Um, Mike is amazing. I can't recommend him enough. I, I, that's why I wanted to do this with him, because he's awesome. <laughs> and so um, I'm going to leave his information down below. You can shoot him up. He's in, uh, well, he works, you work all over. I right? work all over. I'm based in Michigan, but I travel all over, yeah. Anyways, um, more videos coming out on audio things, but also other filmmaking and photo tips and tricks. We'll see you in the next video on Tuesday. Bye. I have self-esteem <laughs> issues at the end of the day. You can't have self-esteem right, right, issues at the end of the all day. Right, let's do this.